Rigging is a very important part of a lineman's job. Improper rigging can lead to poor safety practices. In the first year, we will splice and not tie stranded rope. In the second year of the program, we will splice double braid rope. When I come around this summer, I will have rope along with me. We will practice in class your knot tying and splicing. Now let's, let's finish off the end of our rope. First one we want to make is an eye splice. I've already burned the ends. Down here you can see that I've got it burned so that uh, they won't unravel. You want to burn them so that so that they won't unravel off, uh, with you when you're when you're tucking them. If you uh, if you don't burn them enough, they'll break on you and so on and and, and peel back on you. Now these look like they're burned well. You want to be real careful when you burn those too, because if you if if it's still in molten form, it's just like hot honey and it'll stick on you and it's a it's a bad burn. So you want to be real, real careful with those. Now what we want to do is start out by making a, an eye splice. There's three ways of finishing off the end of a rope. And one is an eye splice, and the other is a backlash, and then we can whip it. We can actually make a serve on it. Uh, we, need, we need about, oh, I'd say, eight to ten inches of, of strand. And what we have to do is identify these strands. We have to identify them one, two, and three. And if you'll see the way I'm holding on to these strands, that from the end of the rope out here, from, from the back side here, coming out from the end, that I can identify them one, two, and then three. Uh, you have to you have to keep track of those strands throughout the splice. Okay. Now what we want to do is take number one here, and we want to figure out about what size eye we want. Now this is a five eighths inch rope. Your hand lines are going to be one half inch, and the reason they're one half inch is that you use them for a safety line. If you have to help somebody off the pole you're going to use your hand line and the minimum size for a safety line is one half inch. Okay, now I'm using five eighths. It's a, it's a heavier rope. It should be a little bit easier to see on your screen. We want to, uh, we want to make, say on half inch rope, we want maybe a four inch eye. I'm going to need maybe uh, inside diameter now or, or uh, dimension here. I want maybe about, uh, I want maybe about five inch eye. If we were going to put a thimble inside, a metal thimble, which would reinforce this eye, what we would want to do is put it in at this time. We would want to figure out about where that has to be, and then we'll, we'll measure it so we can see which, which strand we have to tuck it under. Then we can take it out, and as a last step, when we, when we make up our eye, we'll stick it in there and then pull it up tight. See? Okay, now. Remember, we've identified these strands, one, two, and three. Now, what I want to do is, is figure out, I want, I want an eye about that size. What I want to do is I want to lift a strand here. I want to lift one of these strands, and I'm going to tuck number one under it, and I want to go with the lay of the rope. Now, this is a right lay of rope. By the way, lay is, is construction. If you talk about the construction of the rope, you're talking about the lay of the rope. Now, what we want to do is, is to raise one of these strands. Lift it up so that I can get a strand under. Now, I want to go back here, and I want to take number one, and I want to go with the lay. I'm going to stick it in. It's going to come right through. And like I say, it's going with the lay. Now I've got it. I've got it laying right to this point. Now I'm, I'm. Number one tucked. I'm going to take number two now. 
I want to raise that same strand up. I'm going to actually go underneath the strand I just tucked in there as well. I'm going to raise both of those up. Then I'm going to take number two strand, which is this one right here. And I'm going to go underneath both of those. And then I'm going to pull it. Now, I'm not going to pull it up tight. I'm just going to pull it up so that I can see where I'm at. See? Okay. Now, to give you an idea of about where we're at here, see, we've got one going with the lay of the rope. Then we took number two here. It comes around and goes underneath both of those. This is number two. Then what we want to do is turn it over. And we want to stick this third strand. We want to go through. We want to we want to stick that right through our eye. Okay, now on the back side, you'll see there's two strands there that are undisturbed, you might say. There isn't anything out in between them. So this third strand that I just went through my eye, what I want to do is I want to go underneath the first one and come right out in between those two. Okay, we'll see how we come out now. I want to separate those two. Pick up the first one. And then I want to stick the third strand right up underneath. And then pull it up tight. Now what I can do I can adjust them. I can pull them, pull them in halfway snug. We don't have to worry about pulling all the slack out of it yet. But if we get that thing started right, what'll happen? You won't have any big long jumps with your strand. It'll all be tight. It'll lay right in close. You know, there's times they'll call this this uh, splice that we're making here. This is a nice splice we're making here. But we could take two ropes and uh, time together maybe have uh, have a, what we call a side splice you could you could you could tap one on you could make a side splice and then have two ropes that you could pull on uh, there might be a lot of applications for something like that okay now what we want to do is we want to tuck our strands now this whole assembly all three strands together is our rope uh, our rope has three strands and then in our, in our strands we have fibers and you can kind of kind of see our, our fibers here where if we get in close you can see it on our rope here that we've got we've got fibers that that are are, are loose here you can see them Okay. Now what we want to do is to make tucks on our rope. What we want to do is every time we go jump a, a strand and under the next strand with one of these strands that are hanging loose here, every time we do it with all three of them, we call that a tuck. Now with an ice splice, what we want to do is make three tucks then it should be a sufficient capacity. Now an eye splice, normally you figure an eye splice is having a capacity of about 90% of the capacity of the rope. Okay, now when we start our tuck, what we want to do is take number one strand. It's, you, it's easier this way if you take number one. If we take number one strand, jump a strand, and under the next, then you'll find that, that that's the one that's laying out of position. It's going the opposite direction. So once you get that in position, it's going to be easier to see where the rest go. So start out with number one. Now, what we want to do is I want to jump. Take a closer look at this, too. What we want to do is, is I want to take this strand that's hanging here. This is our number one. And I want to jump this strand and go underneath the next one. So let's see how we do. Okay, now what I have to do is I'm going to twist it in the opposite direction of the lay, open it up, and then I'm going to take number one, and then I'm going to go through underneath that strand like that. Then I roll it around, and you'll see now here again, I'm going to jump 
a strand and underneath the next. Okay, roll it around, do the same thing again. I'm going to jump this strand and under the next. And if I do it right, you'll take a look at it. You'll see that you'll have three strands all laid 120 degrees apart from one another. Kind of go around, pull them up, make sure that your eye up here is, is, is in tight. And then you see we've got, we've got uh, a tuck made now. Now what we want to do, we have to make two more tucks out of that. So they're all, they're all laying, like I say, if you look at them from the end, look at them from the end, you'll see they're all laying 120 degrees apart from one another. And so you know you're right at that point. If you have two coming out underneath the same strand, then you know you've done something wrong. Okay, now what we want to do is make two more tucks. Makes a good wintertime job, too. If the weather conditions are such that you can't get out there or whatever. Do some, make up some slings. They're, they're really handy to have around. Okay. Now you see I've got two tucks, so I'll make the third. Okay. One thing you'll find that linemen know their ropes. They, especially construction people, they, they take pride in their ability to work with a rope. And they should, they're most of them, most of them real good at it. They, they take care of their ropes. You take that sock line they use when they're stringing in under tension, you know. Boy, they have to take care of that rope. They, uh, a, lot of that, a lot of that rope you'll find will be, uh, will be this double braid rope, and we'll be splicing that out the second year. And there we've got our eye, which is 90% of the capacity of the rope itself. The next thing we can do with this is to cut the ends. And when you cut the ends, what you want to do is leave enough there so that, so that you can melt it down. Uh, you don't want to leave those long tails on there. Another thing you can do with a splice like this is to taper it. Uh, it maybe dresses it up a little bit, maybe not that practical, but you can Take two of your strands and tuck one more time. Then take one of those strands and tuck one more time, and then you'll see what it'll do. It'll reduce in size. It'll just taper it off down to the end. We won't bother with that now. But uh, let's cut. We'll, we'll cut these strands off. And like I say, we want to leave, we want to leave about, oh, I'd say like a half inch sticking out of that, out of that strand. Always cut away from yourself with a knife. Your lineman knife will work good for this. I, I like to take a lineman knife to splice rope. It's it's uh if if you take a lineman's knife and then it's hooked, you know. You if you take a lineman's knife and then take a take what they call a ten mil bastard file and then work that knife down. And and just leave it, leave it with that serrated edge on it. It'll uh, it'll it'll cut much easier. You'll find uh, when you when you're working with roll. Now what we want to do is is to burn this so that it won't unravel with us. Or burn the place down. Okay. Now what I'll do is is melt it. And be real careful when you do this that you don't uh, that you don't burn the, the strands of the rope. And I'll see if I can do this so you can see that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it down in size. And 
Okay, then about the time it's close to being set up, what I'll do is straighten it out. And be sure and not touch that because that is just like hot honey and it's it's a bad burn because it sticks to you, holds the heat in. Okay. Now what I have to do is is to melt the other strands. And then while it's still halfway molten, just kind of straighten it out. And then it'll take take form inside the strand. And I've got one more. Uh, so we don't burn something down and then we'll straighten her out and then we've got our eye you can see now this eye is is tight you won't have any loose or big jumps on your strand in here and it's a very practical